I came into town on the bus. I like riding the bus. It's strange, though, because ever since I was a little kid, my mom used to say, there's always one weirdo on every bus. I couldn't find him. <laughs> my mom's great. I remember one time I asked her if I could borrow some of her sleeping pills. She said, sure. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I remember in third grade, I'd run home with my school pictures. I'd go, Mom, is this a good picture of me? And she'd say, well. <laughs> it looks just like you. <laughs> if that's what you mean. <laughs> She's pretty cool, my mom. She started a new support group. She started a new support group called DAM, D-A-M. Mothers Against Dyslexia. <laughs> I think I got my sense of humor from my grandfather, because I remember he was on his deathbed one time. And, we said, Grandpa, when you die, do you want to be buried or cremated? He said, I don't know. Surprise me. You like my jacket? I was going to wear my camouflage jacket. But I couldn't find it. <laughs> I saw a guy one time wearing a camouflage hat. You gotta wonder where his head is at. <laughs> I like camouflage jokes. You know how come? You don't see him coming. <laughs> I love this jacket. I know what you're thinking. You're going, I have that couch. <laughs> My grandma has that couch. I have a nice waist. I get complimented on my waist all the time. I was talking to these girls at a club. Soon as I left, she turned to her buddies and said, what a waist. <laughs> me from someplace, but you don't know where from. I'll tell you what it is. You recognize me from my modeling career. Yeah. Yeah. I was the third one over on the evolution chart. Yeah. Yeah. I was Java man. Really? Watch, watch, watch.